take. Pretty sure that everyone watching this video knows who he is. But for the one person that lives under a rock, here's a quick rundown. Emery Andrew Tate III is a 36-year-old American British social media personality. He's also known as a former professional kickboxer, and he started to go viral this year because in his Hustlers University class, which is pretty much just one of those make money fast classes, he told everyone that an easy way to make money through the class was through affiliate marketing, which is pretty much just you get your own personal join link for the class, and your goal is to make as many people click it as possible. And people soon found out that making a TikTok page, posting a bunch of Andrew Tate's clips, and then making the bio their own yes, personal link to join the class, they'd be getting a lot of clicks and therefore a lot of money. And following his blow up, he started going on to Aiden Ross's stream, which for those of you who don't know, he's like one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. Shut up, when you're genetic like that. Right. What? <laughs> And after going on these streams, he pretty much guaranteed his success on the internet. Because once you tap in with the youth, aka Aiden Russell's fan base, you're kinda gonna be staying around for a while. But then in August of 2022, Andrew Tate would get banned off of every single social media within two days. Like it was so bad that he literally made a one hour my last message video. But then once Elon Musk became CEO, he unbanned almost everyone. Sneeko, Andrew Tate himself, and Kanye, but we know how that went. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table. Oh. Especially Hitler. But all that backstory aside, that leads us up to the worst two days of Andrew Tate's life. The day was December 27th at about 3.58 a.m. or about 12 in the afternoon for Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate would come after Greta Thunberg, which is a 19-year-old autistic climate justice activist born at 3.75 p.m. I'm just reading the Twitter live. She's mostly known for this. How dare you? Anyways, out of the blue, Andrew Tate tweeted at her, pretty much just flexing all his cars. Well, what color is your Bugatti? I'm gonna let Mr. Beast read the tweet. I'll let Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has always 6.0 points there will quad turbo. My Ferrari 112 competency and has 6.5 will tall list. This is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. <laughs> This man is literally the biggest troll, bro. But then afterwards, about an hour later, Greta Thunberg responded. Yes, Liz, you know what I mean? You mailed me out small dick energy at dealalife.com. Ooh, got him there, got him there. Now, but for real though, the roast itself wasn't really that good. But because it's Andrew Tate, you know, it got 3.6 million likes. Bro got ratioed 200K to 3.6 million. Honestly, I don't know how you come back from that, bro. And on Greta's tweet, he had a pretty lame response. And from there, he made a couple tweets afterwards, including this one, which is kind of creepy. I'm not Lot. Like, this is a 36-year-old man talking about a 19-year-old, bro. Like, what? But 10 hours later, Andrew Tate, you know, he had to come back with a proper response. It's a two-minute video, so I'm only going to show you the highlights. Release some greenhouse gases. I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, had an enormous emission. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is, I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? I mean, also, I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50-50, but it is what it is. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. But now I know, at least, that Greta, with a little hate-filled face, bitter, sitting somewhere without the heating on, in the cold, a little hot, shivering. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was probably one of the worst, uh, like, responses I've ever seen, like, you know, just ever. So, yeah, it's safe to say that Andrew Tate, the internet's alpha male, got absolutely cooked. But wait, did you see that? So, I'm actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. Nah, nah, zoom in, zoom in. You see that pizza box right there? It's actually only available in Romania. And ever since Andrew Tate went to Dubai, I guess he was wanted in Romania. And apparently, the Romanian police used this pizza box as evidence to say that Andrew Tate was in Romania. So after seeing this video, the police went to his house, and he got arrested! Like, imagine getting arrested over a pizza box. And you might be wondering, what exactly did they get him for? Well, apparently, at the beginning, the reason was human trafficking. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of crazy, but, but listen to this. A couple months back, he actually got raided for the same thing, so it was kind of believable. It was actually because of money laundering. So pretty much, he got arrested under suspicion that he was making money illegally. And as of now, there's no confirmation that he's still in jail or out of jail, other than this one tweet that he made saying that the Matrix sent their agents. But yeah, man, not gonna lie, it is not looking too good for my boy in 2023. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, but for now, I am out. Throw suicide.
Kurt Cobain. McLaren 720 with a sound like a plane. When I'm on the road, stay in your lane. Beat getting killed like a shot to the brain.